Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. In the previous episode, we lost our streak because we played as a car. <laughs> Unfortunately, from time to time, that's going to happen. This time we play as regular old Kane, who we did play as to Mother once before, but we're jumping in as him again and seeing what we can do. I'm going to kick this episode right off straight away with the lead pencil for one. That's a great pick up. But with the question of the day, and the question of the day is, what is your favourite YouTube channel? What is your favourite YouTube channel? And if it's if it's me, I won't be offended, but I will go and uh, cry alone. No, but seriously, I don't expect many of you that it's my channel. I mean, it might be. That'd be awesome if it is, but I do not expect that from most people. For me, I've got quite a few. I've got quite a few. I think one for me is Summoning Salt. I don't know if anyone out here has watched Summoning Salt. I'm sure a few of you have. He is a person that does like documentary style history videos on um, the speedrunnings of various games, basically going through the history of the speedrun from when it first started to where it is today. They are highly entertaining and usually quite long, which I usually prefer longer videos anyway. So yeah, I really like those videos. If you haven't seen them, even if you don't really like speedrunning, I highly recommend you check them out. They are absolutely fantastic and well made. Also, another one on the line of speedrunning is Virtual, who does videos about um, Trackmania speedrunning, which is a game that I used to play a lot as a kid. Um, not even just as a kid, just when I was younger. So, um, I... Uh, Th th those videos, I, I absolutely love watching those. They're really, really enjoyable. And uh, a few other ones as well. Odd Header is really good. If anyone uh, out there hasn't seen Odd Header, Odd Header is fantastic as well. I always wait for his uploads. Um, if you don't know what that channel is as well, that this dude, basically he covers loads of like glitches and secrets and easter eggs in video games and he does like top 10 videos of different types of easter eggs and things and they are really really good there's some really strange stuff in some video games that you might not know about and some video games that you probably have played a lot of and know pretty well that you'll find some interesting uh interesting things also it kind of introduced me to um a lot of things where it was um, film, uh, sorry, games that I hadn't played and didn't know about some of the crazy wacky secrets the game had to offer. So it was really cool, just kind of learning about those. Ooh, thank you. Um, I do have another bomb. Do I want to use that other bomb? And if so, whereabouts in this room do I want to use it? I think I want to use it here because that can give me the nickel and the penny. And unfortunately, it just gave me the penny. I was really hoping for the nickel because then I'd have enough to make my shop work. Um, let's take a look in the shop nonetheless, though. Yeah, we get a soul heart. I Actually, I probably should have bought the lighter. Like, the soul heart is pretty good, but the lighter is really decent. But yeah, I'm going to say Oddhead is a, a, a great channel for that sort of stuff. Just discovering interesting stuff about gaming and, and video games in general. He's even done some regarding some films and stuff in the past too, which is really cool. Um, and then kind of more on the line of um, more mainstream content, I, I, I watch like Danny Gonzalez and uh, Drew Gooden who create, who basically make, oh come on, one more. Oh, who basically make videos that are like... Um, They'll, they'll like review a film or they'll go over a weird trend on the internet and just like make funny videos and like do um, Especially Danny Gonzalez is like music videos and stuff about them too. They're really entertaining and I, I highly recommend anyone go watch them But yeah, it'd be really interesting to hear what your guys favorite channels are and um, especially ones that are a little bit lesser known because um, it's always interesting to find lesser known channels that are like hidden gem sort of thing. I mean, I think a lot of people uh, that like my channel will probably class mine as, this, as a similar thing. I'm not super well known. Um, range upgrade here is not great. I'm just going to quickly see if I can figure out if there's any which way I can grab myself a, single, a singular penny. I don't... Yeah, I don't actually think there is, unfortunately. Um... Don't think there is. We, we'd need a bomb. Ooh, wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. So you're telling me there's a chance? Yes, baby. Yes. Not only is the lighter a good item, but it got a resprite in a recent update, and it looks really good. So I'm going to pick it up, and I actually think it could be pretty useful. I think it's a three-room charge, right? Um, it is a three-room charge, yeah. That's pretty good going. To set all the enemies in the room on fire, I think that's pretty good going. Let's keep on pushing on. We've got a good combo of items to set, uh, set us off here. But yeah, 
Especially anything that's like speedrunning related. I'm always super drawn to videos like that. I think, um... I, I've been into speedrunning for a long time. Like, I, I think I've told people on the channel before, I have partook in speedrunning myself to some degree. I uh, did a bit of speedrunning for Enter the Gungeon back when that was my main game on my channel. And at least at my peak, I was third on the uh, the world leaderboard for that game, which was pretty awesome. Um, I've, I think I've been knocked down to about 8th, 9th, 10th now. I, I don't know exactly where I sit, but it's, it's most certainly nowhere near as high as it was once. Um... But yeah, that that that's a really fun game to speedrun, and it's actually like as far as roguelikes go, because roguelikes are kind of odd to speedrun, um, especially Isaac. Isaac's not really fun to speedrun, in my opinion, um, just because the randomness makes it like all just an RNG fest, which for speedrunning is really not the ideal circumstance. Do I want Mr. Mega here? Yeah, I'll take Mr. Mega. Ah, oh, I'm a little bit sad because I would have liked technology. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty okay with Mr. Mega here. It's going to make boss fights pretty easy. Um, any room like this has got like a lot of small enemies. I'm just going to use the lighter to uh, to clear out quickly. Um, but yeah, uh, so I I'd, I'd like I did try speedrunning um, Binding of Isaac a little bit and some other roguelikes. But honestly, I think I think another one I did a little bit of was Undermine. That was a fun one to speedrun, actually. But I think Gungeon's one of the better roguelike speedruns I've seen. Just because, for one... I feel like skill kind of trumps RNG in that game. If you're good at the game, it, like you don't really need too much good. Um, in the speedrun, in the speedrun, it does help to get good stuff, obviously. But another thing is the way that the maps are generated within that game. Um, I think Secret Rose here. The way that the maps are generated in that game, like each level, the layouts, they're actually like, ooh, that's rather nice. They're actually laid out kind of on a. Um, like, each floor has a certain amount of layouts. Like, a floor has, like, six possible layouts sort of thing. Um, we'll take Apple of Sodom for now. It has, like, six possible layouts sort of thing, and it can be any one of those. And if you're good, if you if you do the research and learn the layout, you could, there's, like, a tell for each layout, and you can, like, understand which layout is which. Oh, that was a really bad hit by me there. You can understand which layout is which actually pretty easily, and it means that you can, like actually expertly navigate to the boss quickly instead of having to sort of take a, a random path there which you normally would have to and it just it makes speedrun in that game it makes it feel better because you have to have like sort of an understanding and a bit of knowledge of how the game works to to really take advantage i mean i i my speedrun was was Kind of cheesed. So, um, Paradox is one of the um, one of the starting characters that you can play as, which is basically like Eden. You start with a random uh, a random item and a random weapon, and you are allowed to play. Oh god, this is bad. I lost my angel deal already. Doesn't matter. Um, you are allowed to um, play as Paradox on the normal leaderboards. Like normally, other people play it as the Bullet because he has the Blasphemy Sword, which is just very very quick for killing. Um, but yeah, you are allowed to, um, ooh, that's not great. You are allowed to, to, to use Paradox. It, it was like, like, I was, I was kind of like, why is everything half price? And I'm like, oh, I got Steam sale, don't I? You're stupid. You're stupid. Um, I'm going to have to drop Apple of Sodom in a minute as well, actually, because I've just realized that if I get a heart, I'm going to actually want to pick it up. Um, ooh, do you know what? Let's, let's just check this out, because this, this could be it. Yeah, yeah. I will partake in this fella. Give me some wispy wispies, boy. Hey, nice one. Got a few, a few good wisps here. I don't know what that is. That is that red one or red key wisp? If it is, I'm very. Oh no, it's a brimstone wisp. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. But yeah, it's it, it's just really satisfying to be able to like kind of master it but yeah on my speed run i kind of cheesed it a little bit because i i rolled paradox um until i got a good start and i got gungeon which is a weapon that for one has effectively infinite ammo which really helps if you stand over a puddle and then reload it um fully f uh, restocks the magazine um, so it's effectively infinite ammo and it gives you a 20 percent speed boost while you're holding it and it's just generally a very strong weapon. So I was able to, do you know what? We'll uh, blunt up some more mirrored items. Um, I was able to get that to start, which just 
ridiculously helped out. Also, I got um, a teleport item and I got a few lucky teleports. I had an unfortunately, like, kind of bad last floor. I think I probably could have um, been second on the leaderboards if I'd have gotten a bit of a better start. It was a little bit unfortunate in that regard. Um, not much I can get from here. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate in that regard, but I didn't, I didn't mind too much. I still did a lot better than I was expecting to. I think my final time was like 10 minutes and 41 seconds to beat a run to the dragon, which in my opinion is pretty heckin' good. I am a little afraid of this, um, of this fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant a bomb and kill him instantly. Ooh, also, Soul Heart there is very nice to see. Jesus Juice is also really good. Thank you. And we'll keep on heading down. Um... Yeah, I was really happy with that time. After that, I, I'd been, I think I'd been like trying to get a good time on speedrunning that game for around three months. Also, what's going on with my map? I think it's something to do with playing as car last time because that was happening when we were playing as car. It fixed itself. Whoa! It fixes itself in the next room, but I don't know what the hell happened then. But um, it's still a little annoying to not be able to see a map straight off the bat. I kind of use that to figure out which way I'm going to go first. I love this little brimstone wisp. It's very useful. Also getting a lot of bombs, which makes me a lot more glad that I took Mr. Mega. Don't steal away my brimstone wisp. Don't you dare do it. Okay, there you go. Hey, Apple Sodden didn't trigger either. Right, let's go back down this way. Oh, that's going to kill all of you. Oh, I need to move before you all die. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just explode. Yeah, I was not ready for it. But yeah, I also did a bit of speedrunning on Doom Eternal as well when that came out. That was a really fun game to speedrun. For one, because it was so broken. So broken. There were so many out-of-bounds glitches. Basically, every level was normally completed. No, I lost it. Uh, every level was normally completed in like, I don't know, like... 20, 30 minutes upwards to an hour and then in the speedrun each level is completed in literal minutes because you can just break out of bounds all the time. It was so fun and I managed to beat that game in under an hour. I think it was 56 minutes my final time. I was super happy with that. That. We've had some trouble with these rooms in the past so I'll tell you what. Let's try and get some more advantages before we actually take this on. But I am very, very, very happy to see that. That is a... a Double damage upgrade. We can also try and not get hit so much. I've been getting hit a lot recently. We've had some trouble with those rooms in the past, though, so... I'm tempted by it. The worst thing is, I'm tempted by it. I really want it. Let's finish out the floor, and I, I will probably grab it. <laughs> I really like Isaac's heart. I don't know what to tell you. I think it's actually pretty good. Like, it's it's definitely, like, hard to use. But once you learn how to use it, it's pretty good. I Yeah, I just want to say, I'm not a fan of this room at all. Limited movement and pins. No, thank you. Really don't want to lose my angel deal either. My pencil pretty much kills you. Thank God that guy didn't touch me. Good, good. Okay, that should help. I'm gonna find my shop really. Ooh, we got we got one of the new tarnished rooms. Intriguing. I can't exactly remember what these are called now. I think they're called tarnished rooms. Let me let me go and check after this. Right. These are a new room type. They are called tainted treasure rooms. Basically, if you have an item that can ha that has a tainted version, not all of them do, but these can show up and you can take the tainted version. Shops contain fewer goods. You receive um, a free game crash. <laughs> One second. Okay, so interestingly, um, I, something odd happened. So the game crashed, which is whatever. And then, this mod updated, and because I'm now on a run with an old version of the mod, but I've updated to the new version of the mod, there's just belly jelly in here now. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I guess I'll I guess I'll take it. I wasn't. I have to, I have to say I wasn't gonna take the Steam sale item anyways, 
Um, so that's not a big deal. But yeah, we have to replay a few rooms here. Hey, the fire on these guys. Also, I've re-got my wisps back now. They have been reinvigorated, and of course, I lost one instantly. Probably should have used it for this room instead, shouldn't I? Oh, that was actually a good kill there. Hey, double infested. Nice. But yeah, we're going to have to redo this. I've also regained my soul heart too. Unfortunately, that's just one of the impacts of a crash. You are going to regain some items you lost and regain some things you lost, whatever. Car battery. Now, I don't even know if this will do anything with our active because it already sets every enemy on fire. Now, my initial thought is maybe it does like an extra tick of fire or something. Also, nice room. I will try this out. I've not been to my item room yet, so let's save one. Let's save one key. Oh wait, no, I have been to my item room. It's uh, it's Isaac's heart, isn't it? I will take Isaac's heart. I will. Hey, we got it. Unfortunately, not very good. Not very good. Okay, I go this way. I will grab that key as well. Okay, we'll check what these other rooms are, and we'll go and do our boss trap room as well. I want to, I want to try, and, try and get my fire ready. Although, I think my bombs are going to be my main way of dealing damage here. But yeah, those tainted rooms are going to be a really cool addition to future runs. We're going to get be able to see some cool new items, tainted versions of certain items. Uh, obviously, they won't show up every run. They'll only show up if you have one of the prerequisite items that can be tainted. And basically, from what I understand, they'll be like alternate versions of the items that remove the initial item obviously and give you a new version of it that have kind of a upside and a downside so it's not always going to be something you want to take like in that situation that i just had there i wouldn't want to have removed steam sale just because we have ways of getting money and we're getting money fairly reliably but if you're in a situation where you're not really getting much money and you have Steam Sale, you might want to trade it for the tainted version. But yeah, as you can see, the minimap icon has changed to a dice and the room isn't quite functioning as expected. And that is just because, yeah, the mod updated when the game crashed, which is just very unfortunate and unlikely. So I'm guessing the game just got pretty confused what it was supposed to be doing. Um, hopefully on future runs, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, anyways, let's keep moving this way. And... I'm gonna go and do my uh, thingy trap room. Oh, one thing, this item might be different now. Yeah, it is, okay. Because this item isn't like scripted like the rest, we'll still take this though, I'm still pretty happy with this. Uh, also, I tried to set these enemies on fire and it did literally nothing. Belly Jelly just reflected a shot there as well. Oh my lord. That was beautiful. Boom, boom, bow. Oh my god, Belly Jelly is saving my ass right now. I should have been hit so many times there. Right, and now we're going to go and get Isaac's heart. Mainly, actually, because now, Isaac's heart's kind of an interesting prospect with this setup. Also, 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 on top of this... Isn't the upgraded Isaac's heart pretty good? And didn't this thing say it upgraded Isaac's heart? I wonder if it was only for a room. Upgrade all familiars for a single room, one-time use of sewing box. Do you know what? That's pretty decent. All right, let's go. But yeah, now we can slightly more effectively use uh, Salvation here. But kind of back to what I was talking about before about like different YouTube channels that I uh, that I watch and like speedrunning and all that sort of good stuff. Let's upgrade it. Only upgrade it with grades at once, which isn't great not bad though but yeah i'm gonna say it'd be really interesting to know what what channels that you've got that are like flying under the radar or you think are flying under the radar at least they're always super interesting to find out we did get our angel deal here we also got marbles uh which i think i'm gonna grab the tooth there tooth is really good and here we get sacred heart i think i'll definitely take that ow Okay, I took a bit of damage there. I took a bit of damage. I'm intrigued to know how Belly Jelly works with Isaac's heart, actually. Does it now bounce them off of our body or off of our heart? 
I don't know. Because it did trigger then, but I wasn't really paying attention to what it triggered on. I do not know. I do not know. I'm trying to think of other, like... Do you know what? Let's, let, let me just do a quick a quick YouTube haul here and, and see if there's any other hidden gems in my subscription feed that I should be talking about. Um, Of course, we've got Slay, stuff like that. So, um, Sophia Nygaard is amazing, too. Uh, I, I'm subscribed to some of the, the, the Hermitcraft people. Small Ant as well is awesome. Joshua Wiseman for food and recipes. Then a few like Call of Duty based ones. Oh, Jolts Dude. Jolts Dude is one that I uh, I watch every single day. I know these aren't really hidden gem ones, but still. Um, yeah, I'd probably say like two of the ones in here that, that are like really good that everyone should check out is one Jolts Dude is... Well, I won't say everyone should check it out, actually, because he's, he's specifically a Borderlands creator. So if you don't like Borderlands, then maybe not. But if you like Borderlands, please check him out. He's, he's very, very good. Um, and he just does, like, playthroughs where he's, like, different challenges or plays through with different mods and things like that. It, they're really entertaining. Um, and another one is Let's Game It Out. Let's Game It Out is, oh, absolutely fantastic. He is one of my favorite creators that I've found over the past few years. Basically, he gets sponsored to play a bunch of various different games by different companies. Ooh, another little monster. We've got Monstro's Lung and... Not Monstro's Lung, but Lead Pencil. All we need now is Monstro's Lung, actually. Um, basically, he gets sponsored to play a bunch of like new and upcoming games and just breaks the ever-living hell out of them to the nth degree. Like... As much as you can possibly break a game, he does that. And it's it's just so entertaining. Um, ooh. Upgrade Isaac's Heart. Isaac's Heart upgraded is nutty. If we take a look what Isaac's Heart does upgraded, it's really, really, really good. Inventory. Isaac's Heart. Upgrades. Move closer to the player when the player isn't firing and decreases charge time. When fully charged, if an enemy or projectile gets too close, it automatically activates its fully char charged effect. When this activates, it will go on a brief cooldown before being able to charge again, decrease charge time. It's insane. It's really, really, really good. And that'll like knock enemies away and stuff as well. This is going to be a pretty fun run, I think. We got some interesting stuff that works well together here. And then it's like we've just got Sacred Heart to like fill in the gap. Like, we've got this interesting salvation play with Isaac's Heart and stuff, but if that ever doesn't really work out for us, we've just got Sacred Heart to fill in the gap. Also, maybe gonna be treading our active here, depending. Nope, we are not. Eh, I'll bring that along with me. It might be useful. I had a blood, blood, blood bank or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be knocking enemies away loads. But let's, let's, try and, let's try and let this guy get really close. Okay, it doesn't matter. Accidentally killed him. Accidentally killed him. Get ready to jump and set fire to them all. It didn't actually work. and set fire to the other two at all. I forgot we had a car battery. I'm like, where the fuck did BFF come from? Then I realized we procced the uh, the book twice. I see you there. Unfortunately, nothing there worth taking right now. Found our item room and stuff, so we're good to go here. I am in love with this run. But yeah, let, let's game it out. He's been like a channel that I binge. And also... A channel that I actually re-watch a lot of. Like, there's not many YouTube channels out there, at least I don't know about you guys, but for me, there's not many YouTube channels out there that I re-watch their content. Let's Game It Out and Sophia Nygaard, they're, they're ones that I have re-watched quite a few of their videos. Um, Yeah, I've, I've re-watched quite a few of their videos, I think. They've just got that content where it's like, it's kind of long enough to be like long form and you don't remember all of it, but also high quality enough that you can keep watching. I'm just take a sip from my lemonade here. I have a two litre bottle of lemonade with me for unknown reasons, but it is nice. I want BFF now. 
honestly not too bothered about being hit as long as it's not getting me too close to death, I'll be honest. Right, damn it, I was hoping for a blood bank. Although, let's pop lust here and go three hearts deep on this guy. I've never had this guy pay out before, like with an item, so... Wow. He is paying out a lot right now. What the hell, dude? The first negative, holy shit. God damn. Killing it with this dude. Killing it with that guy, my god. And our salvation radius is insane now. Perfection itself. Play this out. Ooh, Emperor card's kind of nice here. Although, it's nowhere near as good as a dice shard. <laughs> By the way, has anyone ever used a dice shard for the D20 effect? Has anyone ever done that? <laughs> I feel like in literally everyone's mind, it's just a D6. Like, I don't even know why it has the D20 effect, really. I suppose maybe in greed mode, I could see it being kind of useful. Oh god, this guy is splitting up quite a bit, aren't you? Aren't you, sir? Yeah, unfortunately, YouTube recommendations haven't been the greatest as of late. I haven't really been finding any, like, super cool new channels or anything. I think Sophia Naga is, like, the most recent interesting one I found. And I can't even remember how I found that. I think I think it's just because she was, like, on trending because she made, like, a... Like, testing out DIY hacks. Because uh, this is another channel that I'm not actually subbed to, but I watch a decent amount. Um, Anna Reads How to Cook That is another channel. And I think that's what led me down um, to finding her channel. Because How to Cook That, her channel, basically, she tests out the five-minute crafts. Like, the, the, the like five-minute recipes and stuff. All those little, te like... Bit like they don't they don't give you any instructions or temperatures or times on how to make things. It's like how to make a thing in two minutes, and it's like it looks like complete bollocks, and it's almost always because it exactly is complete bollocks. Um, and she basically puts a lot of those to the test to stop people from wasting their food or causing themselves serious body bodily harm, which is another option that could befall people from uh, some of the stupid stuff that they post. Uh, so I really like her channel. There's some. Definitely interesting stuff that she puts out. Uh... Dice Shard. Will you be useful for me today? Not yet, you won't be. Tiny Horn. My little fella. My little dude. We've got an absolute train following us right now. Absolute train. I love Tiny Horn. He's so cute. I love how generous the fucking salvation beams are. It's like, I was nowhere near the enemy and it's like, yep, works out for me. My lord, that's a lot of bombs. Also, Isaac's heart's been a champ right now. Okay, we'll take that. And then we will take... Tear Down is kind of an interesting one. I don't think we need it. I kind, of, I kind of like the lighter right now. That's actually not useful anymore. Right? That's pretty good. That's good as well. That's good as well. That's good as well. And I'll take that too. Why not? Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Good hustle. Um, Second secret room could be here. Might not be. Ah, kind of felt like it. I don't know why. Right, back over to the boss. Come on, my fellas. I love having um, sick monster as, a, as my little monster. Look how, look how much of a chad he looks like. He's great. I uninstalled the sick monster mod because it, it didn't get updated for the patch. But mini monster, sick monster, not a problem. Not a problem at all. He's vibing. He's chilling with us. He's being the chattiest chad he could ever chat. Lovely. This is going to be annihilation. 
Oh, I love it when it gets like multiple enemies at the same time. Especially the cross beam here, because it hits so many angles and so many parts of her. Um, we haven't done either of these, have we? Apparently, we've... It says here that we've done Mum's Heart and this, but it says here that we've done Greed. We definitely haven't done Greed. I don't know why it's telling me that. <laughs> that is, sir, a complete and utter lie. Ah, oh, my salvation. It's gone. How could you? What What was slowing that guy then? What do, oh, we have a uh, little gish, don't we? Like, what do we have that slows things? Extra key, why not? I don't think we really need money anymore. I don't think I'm going to do hush. Nice. Ooh, teleport. Ooh, purgatory. Get attacked by your own holy beams, you unholy beast. Beautiful. I've got a newfound love for Purgatory, I have to say. After playing that character that's based entirely around Purgatory, I'm like, Do you know what? If you actually are in a room or, uh, like, in a situation where it's viable to go after them and you have the speed available to make it worth going for, the damage is actually really, really solid. Well, I'm invincible now, so I'm just going to get up in your face. Cracked key? Anywhere we can use you, cracked key? Right here. We haven't been hit in a good while. I say that regretfully, because I know that that's going to lead to me getting hit in just a second, but... Also, why is my dice shard? When it's on the floor, it's the, it's the re-sprite. But when it's in my inventory, it's not. Is that, is that like, a, that, is that always been like that? I don't know. Interesting. Um. Cracked key. Interesting. Interesting. Can I do this? Oh, I can. I've got Isaac's heart. Of course I can do this. Um, I will take Soul of Cain for now. I don't really know if we have a good place to use Soul of Cain, really. I will take it for now, pretending that we do. Jelly Belly's definitely proccing every now and again. Haha! -ha! We can finally kill enemies that have invincibility phases. That mod is perfection itself. I don't care if you go invincible. If I've got enough damage, you better be dying. Stuff. So we didn't find a good place for the solar cane yet. But there's got to be a good place for it on this floor somewhere. Like, just we just need a room where there's at least two different viable doors. I think this is it. I think this is it. God damn, I love having uh, piercing and herming. So good. Unfortunately, we didn't end up getting uh, what we deserved here. Oh, we got another eternal heart there. Thank you. And I really quickly want to just go grab my dice shard again, just in case we get uh, another angel deal or whatnot. Make our way back. <coughs> Uh, a channel on YouTube as well, another one that's, like, kind of close for me is... Well, there's, there's two, actually. Ones that are, like, kind of some of the reasons I watched YouTube. I mean, people know uh, from before that Northern Lion was one of my inspirations, but people might not know that um, the Syndicate Project, Syndicate HD, was a big inspiration for me when I was younger. He used to do... Well, he, he still does a lot of YouTube. Uh, he does a lot more streaming now, though. But he, he was definitely a big inspiration for me. I watched him a ton. Um, justice. Yes. We got not much super useful there. Yeah, we've already cleared that out. That's fine. Let's go. Um, Yeah, um, he was a big inspiration for me. I don't know why. It's just, I think he was kind of one of the first content creators that I was watching that got big. Um, So it was just kind of, and I, I still do watch him every now and again today. Like he still, do, he still makes pretty regular content and stuff. 
It's really, really entertaining. He does a lot of uh, Minecraft, and then like he used to do a lot of Call of Duty Zombies. That's how I got into it, uh, into his content initially. Uh, <coughs> I apologised. Got a cough. Oh god. Thank you for the answer. That's actually really nice. Thanks. Thank you, sir. I'll be on my way. <coughs> and another one is um, Frankie. I uh, don't know if any of you have seen uh, seen Frankie before, but he's, his, his channel name is Frankie on PC in 1080p. Um, and he's a channel that I used to watch a lot, like, um, quite a while ago. And he did, like, armor videos and PUBG videos and stuff where, where they were, like, really highly edited. And, like, he made them look like sort of this big adventure. They were really, really interesting, really, really cool. Unfortunately, he just kind of dropped off of YouTube, like, for, like seven or eight years he just completely stopped making content altogether um for i, I think i think it's because he was a lawyer in real life and he just needs to focus on his career but recently over the past like two three four months he has actually come back to youtube um and he's he's uploading still still fairly sporadically but he's uploading again just because he said he wanted to get back into it and take a step back from his day job because Obviously, I imagine being a lawyer, especially like full time, is a pretty heckin' stressful job. So I think he's taking a bit of a step back. And yeah, his his content's a big inspiration. I know I don't make any sort of similar content. My content isn't like highly edited or anything like that. But just the amount of time and effort that he puts into it makes me want to put more time and effort into my own channel, sort of thing. Thank you. Not that we needed it, but thank you. I just, I just left my heart right there then. Can you, like, get out of here, sir? Let me go back and get that soul heart real fast. I knew it dropped that for a reason. Thank you. Right. Ooh, that was a really cool way to kill the eyes there. Okay, bombs are going to be insane on you. Yeah, they, they are insane. One more, I think, will do it. Did get hit just towards the end there, but that's okay. We do have an angel deal. Chance for soul golden... Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I've had problems with this before, not being very good, but... I'll let it prove itself to me. I'll let it prove itself. I was just contemplating re-rolling re just because we can. But you know what? I'll stick with. I'll stick with. Right, let's bash through the cathedral. We just got a flight there as well, which helps. Let's not get hit immediately on every single room. How about that? Jelly Belly saving my ass again. It's been saving my ass a lot recently, I have to say. We should get some, uh, like, golden hearts and soul hearts and eternal hearts from the eternal seal there as well. I don't know how common common of a drop it's going to be, to be honest. I hope reasonably. Ah, oh, we don't have spectral. I keep forgetting that. Hey, the fires actually does, does a good amount of damage. Oh, hello, exorcists. How are you? There's a playable Exorcist character as well, uh, you know. Uh, that's that's another one that I could check out on the uh, on the character showcase series. Please do let me know if you want, you guys want to see that. Because I, ha I haven't really looked into them that much yet. But I saw that uh, BD1P did a video on them recently. So I might give them a go. Oh, for rooms like this, the light is just so good. I'm glad we've ended up sticking with it for the whole run here. Right, we don't have as many bombs for this guy. So let's not rely on them too much. But... What we can do is we can sit really, really up close and personal. And do this. <laughs> so many light beams for you, sir. Beautiful. Yeah, these do so much damage. Just gotta be careful because the heart can have a really easy time of getting hit by the beams of light. Because they just don't stick quite close enough to me. We have one more little run round, I think. There you go. Easy. He was 
a lot easier than expected. And we've got D6 now for these four chests if we don't get what we want. What am I looking for? I don't actually know. Honestly, none of that. <laughs> also, they were pretty bad. But I like my little heretic and I like the papyrus frags. Activating a book every third room is really good. Try to be careful it doesn't take away one of our items accidentally because it has done that in the past. Almost certainly has. Slightly harder room here. Oh, we got tank buddies. Where the hell did they come from? Oh, my papyrus rags. I think my Paris Rags activated twice, right? Because I've got two sets of tank buddies. Belly button? I don't think we need that. Okay, we've just got one set of the tank boys permanently now, which I'm very happy about. I don't think that was intentional, but I, I, I will most certainly be very excited about it. Good, good. More chests, please. God damn. This is such a... Like, this is such, like, a unassuming but strong build. Like, like obviously, Salvation's a really strong item, but the fact that the combination that it has with Isaac's heart is just insane. Don't like that. Tell you what, don't like that. Hopefully we can get more soul hearts like that. Good, good. What the hell are you doing, bomb? That wasn't what I asked for at all. Trying to get the ghosts out whenever I can, if, if possible. Hey, and he's getting weakened as well from my fella. <laughs> Tiny horn just doing his thing. Nice. We're probably not going to be able to use Salvation too much on uh, Yield Mega Satan, but we'll give it a go. We just need more fire rate. We've not got a fire rate upgrade all run. Not being super necessary to be fair, but still. Hey, there's a, another soul heart. Ooh, I'm just walking to the chest there. Okay, let's complete some more rooms because I think we can get some more chests here. Yeah, I know I realize we only have one look, but still. I don't know where my heart is. I'm so confused. Isaac's heart was just kind of chilling. I didn't know where it was. I was in the brimstone there, but Isaac's heart wasn't, so I narrowly escaped it. Also, we're getting more bombs, which I think is going to be kind of good for Mega Satan. More bombs we get, the better. Okay. Baby Plum. Explosive, baby Plum. Oh my god, you are very explosive. Holy hell. Wasn't expecting that shot. I thought you just exploded on death and, like, exploded when you bounced. I didn't realize you did that also. You cheeky fool. Oh, my lord. Hanged men? Unfortunately, not quite the card that was, uh, gonna give us an advantage. On a chest? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, game. Kamikaze. Why? Let's see if we can play this guy out. Might give us a health upgrade. Or a better card. Or a temperance. Did give us HP though? For that I can only be grateful. Oh my god, I keep get, I keep getting hit by random crap. I, I'm just having a real hard time seeing if I'm about to be hit or not. I'll have to say. 
It's just very hard to understand. Okay. I was going to say last chance. We've got one more room after this. Damn. We have a lot of hearts about. What's the chances of playing this fool? Okay, not great, considering I forgot it took full hearts from us. Yeah, I forgot it took full hearts. Also, we have rotten hearts, which I don't like the idea of right now. Oh, ho, ho. that was awesome. God damn, thank god I killed him quickly. Patch Heart doesn't really do anything for us. That's kind of nice to get. Unfortunately, nothing amazing here. We could try and look for secret rooms, but I'm honestly not sure where we'd be looking. And also, I don't want to use my bombs. In fact, yeah, let's not bother. Okay, we did get a book proc on this room, and we got a plus seven damage. Wasn't expecting that. Very happy to see it. Now, question is, how exactly do we play this? Now, I think actually, with Isaac's heart set up right now, like, once we get past these guys, we actually have a pretty good position to kill this dude. Because we can just kind of sit in front of him and he can't hit us. Okay, do not like that. Don't you dare throw that horse at me. Every time with that damn horsey. Certainly tried it. Yeah, if I stand like right here, I can hit all segments. Obviously, I realize I can fire a laser beam at me. I've got to be ready for that. But because we've been hit enough, our radius is actually pretty huge now. So we're having a really easy time with it. I thought we were going to have a harder time using it. But we've actually been hit enough to be an advantage to us rather than just wasting our health. Oh, I thought he was firing the brimstone the other way. I don't know why. It's dumb. I think we're at max size now. There you go. We seem to be stun locking this 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 dude as well. Okay, the hands are back in. Oh, he spawned. I I, I forget he can do that. He spawned a few more fellas. Nice. The hands are actually really good because they're just creating more beams to do more damage to the head. There you go. And then we can use some bombs maybe as well during the second phase. We'll see how that goes. I don't think we're delirium capable, unfortunately. I mean, I could always try it. I'm not, I don't really have a big streak right now or anything, but we'll see. Just my fire race is not good enough. I'm getting close to delirium. Like, our main form of attack is getting close. And getting close to delirium is just not a good... Not... It's, I won't even say it's not a good idea. It's not plausible. <laughs> it's just not something you can rely on at all. We're taking this guy out pretty quickly, though. Looking pretty damn good. Damn it. Threw a bomb down and it just went off in the other direction. There you go. Taken down, Mega Satan taken down. And we didn't get the Delirium Portal anyways. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.